Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. This is a 32 inch LG LED TV. Here in this TV, the motherboard is damaged due to lightning. So, here we are going to install the new latest universal board with new graphics these are the connections supply details so for installing the universal board we need 12 volt input vcc see friends here we going to install this new latest universal motherboard It's a new motherboard that is launched recently in the market. This is the Tcon board. Here the supply is in left side. So here we take a suitable LVDS cable for this panel. Here the Panel voltage is 12 volt input VCC. See friends, finally we connected all connections in sockets. Here the green wire is the 12 volt input VCC. The white wire is the BL on connection. And the black wire is the ground signal. Also, here we connected the IR connections. In this, the brown color is the input VCC 5 volt. The gray color is the IR connection. And the white wire is the ground. And the purple color is the LED. So, now we connected all sockets now let us turn on the tv and check the picture See friends, now the TV is in standby mode. Here you can see the red light. Now we have released the TV from the standby. See friends, now the picture comes. So let us go for the final installation. Here in this board, it's written as U11 board, but actually it is T.R67.03 model motherboard. Overall, it's a good quality motherboard. This board comes with new graphical user interface. So finally, we are going to fix this motherboard in the back cover of this TV. See friends, here we screwed this board. And connected all sockets so we can now put all screws back to this TV see friends finally you can see the picture this is the resolution code for factory setting we need to press input 208 on the remote 
So here I am going to press input 208 on the remote for entering to the factory mode. See friends, now we entered into the factory mode. To enable the auto power on option, we need to enter into the general settings. In general setting, here you can see the power on mode is off. We need to turn it on for enabling the auto power on option. So now that's it. Here you can see the final result. See friends, this board comes with new graphical user interface. Overall, it's a good quality motherboard. While comparing with the older model, this board comes with a good picture quality. The audio and picture quality of this new model board is better while comparing it with the old U11 board. So that's all for today. Hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thanks for watching.